Today we're going to conclude the review of the Angles 90 grips and we're going to see if these are worth the money. Hey guys, Farhad here from Fit with Farhad and in today's video we are going to conclude our review in the two-part series of the new Angles 90 grips that we keep seeing all over social media. Now before we crack on with the review, I do want to say that I spoke to Angles 90 and they have kindly offered to give me a free set of the athlete set which I want to give away to you guys. So stick around to the end of the video and I'll tell you exactly how you can get your hands on the full athlete set. I've had a play around with these for the last week or so and I've been doing a few workouts with it based on my program that I'm working out with and I can say that I do like these grips. There's a couple of things that we're going to go through in the next few moments where I talk about the different exercises I've done and what I liked about them. There are some exercises I didn't like these on and I'll go through them as well and there's a few things that I discovered whilst using these. So whilst they kind of look like a, a weird carrot kind of prop they're actually a pretty decent handle. They're very ergonomically designed, I kind of like the comfort and I am going to compare them to D handles which are cheaper as well in this video so you can see the comparison because I did think in my mind well these kind of look like D handles, um, they're a lot more expensive than cheap D handles so why not just get D handles and do the same thing. Now one exercise that I did that I didn't like these on that you see a lot on their social media profile is with barbell exercises. I did it with a Romanian deadlift as you can see here and with the Romanian deadlift I just didn't get on with it. Perhaps one of the reasons was I kept the length of the leash a little bit too long but there was a lot of instability and rocking with it and personally I'm of the school of thought that you should create as much stability with the equipment you're lifting or with the resistance that you're creating on the muscle because you want to basically contract that muscle with as much control as possible. Now I know there's some people that have a school of thought where they believe that they should create that instability because it aids in burning more calories and creates a little bit more instability for the core, for the core muscles to kick in a little bit more. You know the type of people I'm talking about, you know there are the ones at the gyms that are doing squats and a BOSU ball. Um, look if that's you, great, I'm not from that school of thought um, so I didn't particularly care for them when it came to barbell exercises. I might be doing them wrong but not for me, I wouldn't carry on doing these barbell exercises. I stuck with my traditional deadlift straps for those. However, I did try them with other exercises. I did them mainly with pulling movements but I did do them with a couple of pushing movements as well. Uh, there was one point where I was doing bicep curls as you can see in the video here where I kind of got frustrated with them. What was happening was with the cable being attached like this and I had my hand in the, on the grip this way, these two little parts of the strap of the leash, they kept sort of really pulling against my fingers causing a lot of discomfort and it was really annoying me and I thought nah I don't want to carry on with this so I went back to the normal D handles, did a set of bicep curls with that and then it clicked to me, these things have these little slits on the top of them. Um, and I've not really sort of like played around too much or gone on Angles 90 website to see what you can do but I figured it out for myself, it's pretty self explanatory but these slits you can sort of like thread the strap through it and then you've got yourself a little bit more of a stable grip here so you don't have the obstruction or the interference of the strap and leash here. So then I was able to do a bicep curl without having the, the friction and the pull in my fingers and it was a lot more comfortable from that point of view. So they're very well designed, they are pretty pretty well designed to be fair. Um, you're going to see a few more exercises that I play around with these. I love these on the pulling movements because they allowed me to really sort of pull back um, and, and, and manipulate the angle of my arms so I could get a better pull with the exercise, really contract the muscles that I was working, really nice with rows, really nice with face pulls as you can see in the video.
But the best thing about these, especially when it comes to sort of like the hygiene element, they're very, very easy to clean down with some antibacterial solution and a bit of tissue or a bit of cloth. Unlike sort of like the spongy D handles where they absorb more of the sweat. I don't really, when it comes to the spongy D handle, especially with this COVID-19 situation, I stopped using them with my clients prior to lockdown because I just didn't want them to feel like they were touching other people's sweat. When it comes to reopening and I use, go back to using spongy D handles, you know, I've decided that we're gonna have to sort of spray things down. You don't have to do that with these, you can just wipe them down. Wiping down is a lot better than spraying them down. So let's compare the Angles 90 grips to regular D handles. I've got two sets of D handles here. So with these D handles, you've got that sort of like spongy texture and you've got, it's not as ergonomic. Okay, there's a little bit of sponge to it and a little bit of a grip, but because of the shape of your hand and, and, and the curvature of your palm, you're not gonna get that same grip feel. So the grip is really important. When you've got a good grip on, a, on your equipment that you're holding, you're gonna be able to transfer that grip into strength and you're gonna be able to transfer that into a little bit of extra pull that you're doing or a little bit of extra push. If you are doing, if you are using this, for example, instead of deadlift straps, I didn't like them as deadlift straps to be personally honest. Um, you, might, you might prefer them, but I can assume that the grip would be better than just gripping onto a bar. But like things like a, a, a chest press on a cable machine, this was really nice. I really felt the difference because with this, I was kind of with, with a, when I was doing a chest press with it on the cable machine with the standard D handles, I was almost pushing with my palms on the, on the D handle to get it up and it's kind of like digs in and it kind of hurts. When I transferred it over to the handles here, I had them at this angle so they kind of like were here and this way and so I had them, so I had them like that and because of the curve, they weren't pushing down on my palm of my hands as you can see, they were actually more on the top, the middle part of my palm of my hands. So I could really sort of like get more torque through them and lift a little bit more efficiently. Now I didn't up the weight in that set. However, I can assume that you could potentially add a couple of kilos of weight because you've got a better grip. So they're definitely useful if you're trying to get the maximum amount of the amount you're pushing. So that's really clever. So what about comparing the Angles 90 grips to the long D handle, seeing if you can do a similar thing when it comes to gripping it? Well, the truth is you can, okay? So I can thread that through like that and I've got the grip on. On this side, I can do the same thing and do how you do with the angles 90 grips. So you just thread it through like this and voila, it's locked in place. So yeah, if you wanted a cheaper version of the angles 90 grips, you could use this. I'm not sure how, I mean, that slides out quite quick easily. So the lack of stability there, now if I've got this one, it's, yeah, it's locked in place. So yeah, if you wanna be cheap about it, you can use the normal long, long strap D handles, but just be careful, they're not gonna be as stable. I imagine you're pulling a very heavy load and the, the D handle comes in out of place. You're gonna like slam the weights in the cable stack. You could damage the machine, potentially damaging yourself, injuring yourself. You don't want that. It's better to pay a little bit of extra money and get them so that you avoid the mistakes and avoid the mishaps and then avoid the embarrassment in the gym and also the injuries that you might sustain. Now I'm gonna tell you how you can get your hands on a set of these angle grips and the full athlete set in just a moment. But before I do, I wanted to give you my honest unbiased review of these. Obviously you've seen me use them now. I do like them. I really think that they are a useful tool in the gym. They're quite good and portable, as I said, they're hygienic. They allow you to do exercises in a way so you can manipulate the movements of your arms and the joints so that you can get a full contraction, unlike the grips where it's almost static when you're pulling or when you're pushing. So these are really, really clever for that. Are they better than the prime rotates? I'm gonna be brutally honest with you. If there's a question of easily getting a hold of the prime rotates, I probably have the prime rotates in my facility, but because the prime rotates are a lot more money and they are harder to get hold of outside of the US, these make a phenomenally good alternative to the prime handles. And unlike the prime handles, like I said in my previous video, these are a lot more portable. You can stick these in your gym bag and they're a lot more versatile than the prime handles. So 
definitely recommend these for anybody serious about training if you're serious about getting a good physique and you want to train properly and do the right type of training and get the right angles of pull or push when you're executing the exercises these are going to definitely help you more than standard d handles or the standard handles you get in the gym if you are a casual trainee or you're somebody that travels a lot then the full athlete set allows you to have the resistance bands and the sling so that you can do suspension training so that's very useful as well and obviously you don't get that with say for example the prime rotates or even the mag grips so i like these i really think that they're value for money i really think they're good i'm going to carry on using these with my workouts i'm going to definitely use these with my clients when they're back after lockdown so yes i'm going to give these a thumbs up and if you want to get your hands on the athlete set like i said angles 90 have kindly said that if I give them another review, which I'm doing in this video, they will give me a free set. Now, I don't want to keep the set. I want to give the set to you guys as a thank you for watching my videos and supporting my channel. So all you've got to do to grab a hold of this Angles 90 athlete set is to like this video, subscribe to the channel and pop a comment below telling me that you've liked this video, you've subscribed to the channel and why you like a pair of these. And then what I'll do is I'll go through those and I'll select one winner and I'll get in touch with you so that I can get these sent over to you and then you can then enjoy your training with the Angles 90 set. Now there is obviously going to be a time limit on this competition so if you're watching this after the winner has been announced then unfortunately you know you won't have a chance to win these but i'll put that in the description below once the draw has been done once the winner has been announced i will make a disclaimer in the description below to say that the draw is over if you want to get a hold of these before the draw or even after the draw there's going to be a link in the description below to how you can get it through my affiliate link and i'll also pop a code there so you can get it at a discount so with that, thank you again for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the review. If you'd like me to continue doing more reviews of products, just pop a comment below and let me know what you'd like to see me review next. So with that, I look forward to seeing you in the next video and have a great day. Sweat more, suck less and stay awesome. And guys, if you like this video, you're going to love this video right here. You're going to love this playlist. But please, please, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel.